Welcome back. Now, the 10th Agri Expo kicks off today at the East London Show Grants. This in the Eastern Cape. It all aims to present opportunities for young and upcoming farmers to grow in the sector. But there are many weeds in the field, such as climate change and political as well as economic instability. ENCS Ronald Masinda is at the Expo and joins us live now. Ronald, uh, quite a good initiative that also will, I understand, uh, highlight you know, some of the plights of uh, you know, farmers as well as in agriculture. I mean, today alone, we're waiting to hear from the APC regarding interest rates. There's a lot of fears around whether or not they'll be increased, even though economists are saying they will remain the same. But the reason I'm saying this is because uh, we see how interest rates, even in turn, uh, affect the cost of production to farmers as well as the cost of food to consumers. But take us through some of those uh, you know, priorities that will be uh, discussed, I suppose, at the Expo. Well, good morning, Tomello. Well, one of the most important things about today's expo is to try and facilitate for the development of uh, black African farmers so that they can to make a meaningful contribution in the agricultural sector. Without any further ado, I've got a couple of guests with me who will perhaps unpack more as to what today is really all about. So, Lufello, thank you so much for your time. Uh, talk to us about this particular event. Has it made much of a difference in the farming sector, in the development of young farmers especially? Thank you so much for having us. Certainly, we've come a long way. The Expo has been around for the last 10 years. We started in the Free State and eventually in the Eastern Cape because um, the amount of commodities that can be um, produced in the Eastern Cape is phenomenal. Um, it, it is um, the best province uh, by far in terms of commodities. Um, we've experienced a lot of young farmers that have got good stories that we've shared today, um, how they've incorporated with these private sector partners and how they've been getting assistance in terms of understanding precision farming um, that will combat um, food security for 2050. We talk about farming uh, as a very important sector, but here in the Eastern Cape there have been issues around hunger and how a lot of people have also been grappling not to get the necessary land to farm. Will this be an issue that uh, should be addressed? Definitely not only should be addressed, being, we've been addressing it. Um, an emerging farmer, remember, does not have the capabilities that the markets require. Um, it's as if um, you are doomed not to make it because the red tape and the requirements are beyond scope. So this expo allows uh, emerging farmers to access markets of their caliber and grow momentum from there and see themselves develop to becoming commercial farmers. It's practice, practice, exposure, exposure. It would also be nice to see a few senior officials here. What is the word? Why aren't we not seeing uh, the likes of the ministers who are supposed to be in attendance? Um, the minister did accept our invite and the minister did formally um, apologize to us for other commitments um, beyond his um, uh, means here. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much indeed for your time. I'm going to bring you, Gunter, into the conversation. Thank you so much for your time. And I'm sure as uh, Agri, you guys have also been involved in a lot of uh, the exports. And South Africa has also been dependent on the exports. How is that uh, going? Uh, thanks for the opportunity to, to be part of this discussion. Um, as, as far as the ex exports go, um, the Eastern Cape is probably known as the livestock province of this country, uh, which is obviously why we push these exports um, at a tremendous rate. And uh, also because we've got the for former homelands, uh, Siska and Transkai, where we would obviously, we as Agri Eastern Cape do not have a big footprint, but we, we would like to get involved um, and, and get these um, upcoming communal farmers involved as to get their products market ready um, and as to just for a stat out there um, the, agric uh, East, the Eastern Cape's livestock uh, as a commodity we uh, have got 30% of the livestock in this province although we only contribute 8% to the formal value chain and that is because of our communal farmers that are not up to date as to what's going out there how the markets are and that's where we want to to play a, a huge role as to get them developed um, by initiating programs and to see how we as Agri Eastern Cape do not just promote the sustainability of our commercial farmers but also get our communal farmers involved. My colleague Tumelo just spoke about in the intro a few of the challenges facing the agricultural sector. How's the issue of stock theft? Is that a unreported un crime? 
Uh, very much. Um, so you can go to the stats. If you see 10 years ago, the amount of small stock farmers, if I talk, talk about small stock, I talk about sheep and goat farmers in our province, have decreased tre tremendously. And the biggest issue that we are facing is stock theft. And that's also a huge concern for us um, because we can see the amount of beef that's currently produced in our province is, is, is increasing, but uh, small stock is decreasing at a tremendous rate. And, and stock theft plays the biggest role. And this is where we will need to get SAPs involved um, as to how we can to see how we can uh, uh, um, limit this and that's not just a problem in the commercial space I think it's the biggest problem in the communal space as well so yeah that it's a huge issue all right thank you very much indeed for your time gentlemen we really appreciate it so that's the word here in East London but uh, the program has just started so we will be keeping our eyes and ears as to listening to some of also the success stories of people who started out here as emerging farmers and have also managed to create much needed jobs in the sector will be an interesting one to look out for because we know this one thing that uh, agriculture as a sector is known for Ronald is resilience you know come load shedding blackouts climate change uh, rising food production costs that's one particular industry that we can definitely rely on to keep food security going on in the country so it'll be interesting to see uh, what opportunities lie for emerging farmers so right Ronald Masinda will leave it there colleague thank you for bringing this story to the fore